Hello everyone and welcome back. We're thrilled to have you join us today. Today we're diving into a book that has profoundly impacted how we think about leadership, Brene Brown's Dare to Lead. This book isn't just a guide, it's a transformative experience that reshapes our understanding of what it means to lead. This isn't your typical leadership book. It's not about climbing the corporate ladder or wielding authority. Instead, it delves into the essence of human connection and the power of vulnerability. It's about something much deeper, much more human, the courage to be vulnerable. Vulnerability is often seen as a weakness, but Brown flips this notion on its head, showing us that it's actually a profound strength. In a world that often equates leadership with strength and stoicism, Brown challenges us to reconsider our assumptions. She invites us to embrace our imperfections and lead with authenticity. She argues that true leadership stems from vulnerability, from the willingness to show up authentically, even when it's uncomfortable. This means having the courage to have tough conversations, to admit when we don't have all the answers, and to be open to feedback. This book is a call to action for anyone who wants to lead with more courage, compassion, and connection. It's about creating environments where people feel safe to express themselves and take risks. Whether you're a CEO, a teacher, or a parent, the principles in Dare to Lead can help you create a more courageous and fulfilling life. It's about leading from the heart and fostering a culture of trust and empathy. Imagine a world where leaders are not afraid to be vulnerable, where they lead with empathy and understanding. This is the vision that Dare to Lead offers us. So let's explore the key insights from this groundbreaking work and discover how daring leadership can transform our lives and the world around us. Together, we can create a future where leadership is synonymous with courage, connection, and compassion. Before we delve into the book itself, let's talk about the brilliant mind behind it, Dr. Brene Brown. Now, Brene is a research professor, a best-selling author, and a global phenomenon. Her TED Talk on the Power of Vulnerability is one of the most watched TED Talks of all time. But what makes Brene's work so relatable, so resonant, is her down-to-earth style and her willingness to be vulnerable herself. She doesn't just talk the talk, she walks the walk, sharing her own struggles and triumphs along the way. For over two decades, Brene has dedicated her research to understanding the complexities of human emotion, courage, vulnerability, shame, and empathy. Her work has revolutionized how we think about these emotions, particularly in the context of leadership. In Dare to Lead, Brene brings together years of research and countless real-life stories to provide a practical guide for developing courageous leadership. So what exactly is Dare to Lead all about? In a nutshell, it's about choosing courage over comfort, choosing what's right over what's easy, and choosing to show up authentically, even when we're afraid. Brown argues that true leadership isn't about titles or positions. It's about the willingness to step up, to have tough conversations, and to create a space where everyone feels seen, heard, and valued. The book is divided into four key skill sets for daring leadership, rumbling with vulnerability, living into our values, learning to rise. These skills provide a roadmap for navigating the challenges of leadership with more courage, compassion, and connection. Let's start with the cornerstone of daring leadership, rumbling with vulnerability. This isn't about oversharing or being weak, it's about embracing the full spectrum of our emotions and experiences. It's about having the courage to be authentic, to be real, and to be present in every moment, to show up with our whole hearts, to be fully engaged, even when we're unsure of the outcome. Vulnerability is often seen as a weakness, especially in the workplace. We're taught to project confidence even when we're feeling uncertain. But true leadership requires us to embrace our vulnerabilities. Brene Brown's research shows us that vulnerability is actually the birthplace of courage, innovation, and connection. When we allow ourselves to be vulnerable, we create space for others to do the same. We build trust, foster empathy, and create a more human and compassionate work environment. Rumbling with vulnerability means being willing to have tough conversations, to admit when we don't have all the answers, and to ask for help when we need it. It's about embracing our imperfections and recognizing that our vulnerability is what makes us human and relatable. When we show up as our true selves, we inspire others to do the same. We create a culture of openness and honesty where everyone feels valued and heard. This is the essence of daring leadership. It's about leading with our hearts, not just our heads. It's about being brave enough to be vulnerable, to take risks, and to embrace the unknown. When we lead with vulnerability, we create a ripple effect. 
we inspire others to be brave, to take risks, and to be their authentic selves. This is how we build strong, resilient teams. Teams that are not afraid to fail, because they know that failure is just a stepping stone to success. So let's embrace our vulnerabilities, let's rumble with them, and let's lead with our whole hearts. Because in the end, it's our vulnerability that makes us strong, that makes us human, and that makes us leaders. Living into values, aligning actions with beliefs. The second skill set, living into our values, is all about aligning our actions with our core beliefs. This means that our daily behaviors, decisions, and interactions should reflect what we hold dear in our hearts. It's a continuous journey of self-discovery and self-expression. It's about showing up in the world as our most authentic selves, even when it's difficult. Authenticity requires courage and vulnerability, as it often means standing out from the crowd and being true to oneself despite external pressures. This requires us to get clear on our values, to define what truly matters to us. We need to take the time to reflect and understand our core principles. This might involve journaling, meditating, or having deep conversations with trusted friends and mentors. What do we stand for? What are the non-negotiables in our lives? These are the questions we must ask ourselves to gain clarity. What kind of impact do we want to make in the world? Our values often guide us towards the causes and communities we want to support. They help us identify where we can make a meaningful difference. Once we have a clear understanding of our values, we can start making decisions and taking actions that are in alignment with them. This isn't always easy. Life is full of challenges and temptations that can lead us astray. It often requires us to make tough choices, to prioritize our values over convenience or comfort, to speak up when we see something that isn't right, even if it means facing opposition or criticism, and to walk away from situations that compromise our integrity. This might mean ending relationships, leaving jobs, or changing environments that no longer serve our true selves. But when we live in alignment with our values, we experience a sense of purpose and fulfillment that comes from knowing we're living a life that is true to ourselves. This alignment brings inner peace and a deep sense of satisfaction, as we are no longer living a divided life, but one that is whole and integrated. Ultimately, aligning our actions with our beliefs is a powerful way to create a life that is not only meaningful to us, but also inspiring to others. It sets an example and encourages those around us to also live authentically and with purpose. So take the time to reflect on your values, make conscious choices, and let your actions speak for what you truly believe in. This is the path to a fulfilling and impactful life. Braving trust, the cornerstone of connection. The third skill set, braving trust, focuses on building and maintaining trust, both in ourselves and in our relationships. Trust is the foundation of any strong relationship, whether it's in our personal lives or in the workplace. Brene uses the acronym BRAVING to outline the seven elements of trust. Boundaries, reliability, accountability, vault integrity, non-judgment, and generosity. When we practice these elements, we create a culture of trust and respect where people feel safe to be themselves and to take risks. Building trust takes time and effort, but it's essential for creating a workplace where people feel valued and respected. Learning to rise. Embracing setbacks as stepping stones. The final skill set, learning to rise, is about developing resilience and the ability to bounce back from setbacks. Life is full of challenges, and leadership is no exception. We're going to make mistakes, we're going to face disappointments. The key is to learn from these experiences and to use them as opportunities for growth. Learning to rise is about cultivating self-compassion, practicing gratitude, and embracing our imperfections. It's about recognizing that failure is not the opposite of success. It's a stepping stone on the path to success. When we can approach challenges with a growth mindset, we become more resilient, more adaptable, and more effective leaders. Personal Reflections, Vulnerabilities, Transformative Power. You know, reading Dare to Lead was a truly transformative experience for me. Brene's message about vulnerability really struck a chord. For so long, I felt like I had to be strong and in control all the time, especially in the public eye. But Brene's work helped me realize that true strength comes from embracing our vulnerability, from allowing ourselves to be seen for who we truly are. It's about having the courage to be imperfect, to ask for help, and to learn from our mistakes. And you know what? It's made a world of difference in my life, both personally and professionally. I feel more connected to myself, to the people around me, and to my purpose in the world. A call to daring leadership. Dare to Lead is more than just a book, it's a movement. 
It's a call to action for all of us to show up in the world with more courage, compassion, and authenticity. It's about creating workplaces, schools, and homes where everyone feels seen, heard, and valued. It's about building a world where vulnerability is seen as a strength, where trust is the foundation of every relationship, and where we all have the courage to dare greatly. So I encourage you to pick up a copy of Dare to Lead. Read it, share it with your loved ones, and let's start a conversation about how we can create a more courageous and compassionate world together. Thank you for being here today. Until next time, stay daring.